Well, ladies and gents, Six Figs here from YouTube, and we're going to get really freaky when it comes to delivering the Nervous Network news and charts. So let's dive right into this. Yesterday, I threw down one of the greatest tweets that man can't, mankind has ever seen. Trust me on this one. Do I wear the God Woken Rises t-shirt on today's video or the CKB shirt? Uh, yeah, we had a bunch of DGENs absolutely arguing in the comments sections. Good thing they didn't have weapons. Uh, it got real wild, but I thought we'll show some support to God Woken today and uh, every day. Uh, I dropped an interesting tweet that got a good little response here. And I dropped this tweet. It says, with the SEC wanting to ban POS, will we see a POW alt season rally? 63% said yes. 36% said no, which they are probably bears anyways. But what I wanted to kind of just get at here is that we are seeing the rogue state, the rogue deep state, also known as Gary Gensler and Friends and the Exchange Securities and Exchange Commission, really start to target exchanges for little nitpicky frivolous things like something as simple as offering rewards for staking purposes and stuff like that. And really, why are they hammering down on Kraken right now? Where were they all these months ago when all these exchanges were collapsing? They were nowhere to be seen. And you know why? Because Gary Gensler is involved in a lot of this stuff, especially when it comes down to FTX. And I think that we might be seeing some big news coming sooner than later. Trust me on that one, folks. Uh, getting back to the shirts, if you guys are interested in purchasing a shirt, I make no commission off these or anything. I'm just simply providing you a link to Nervos Network's website. I believe this is Nervos Network's website. It's where I purchase these shirts at full price. Uh, designedbyhumans.com. I'll throw that link in the uh, description. Uh, we had a crazy, crazy tweet out of Crypto Airborne. And man, oh man, he put the fire and the heat on the Voyager CEO, Stephen Ehrlich. Now, way back in June, Stephen was on this Twitter spaces, which Airborne was kind of relaying onto YouTube. And Steve said a bunch of stuff about coins and securities and stuff that he really wasn't supposed to be talking about. He had kind of slipped up and Airborne recorded it. Well, after Airborne recorded it and published the video, Steve starts DMing him. Please take down any video of the recording as it shouldn't be out there. I don't need regulators referencing these things. This is back in June. This looks bad. Thanks much. Appreciate it. I just saw the tweet. Someone tweeted and it was recorded. Uh, the Twitter spaces. Okay, Steve, we'll do. Sorry about that. Blah, blah, blah. No problem. Just being careful of regulators. So, man, I tell you what, this is my opinion on Steve Ehrlich. And I have said this since July. I have said that he is up to no good. And I was catching a lot of heat for it. Uh, and I even went as far as saying that I think that he was involved with the collapse of Voyager. Really, when it comes down to it, uh, I have my suspicions, folks. I really do. Uh, so we won't go any further into that. Uh, but we will go further into is this absolute stunner that Neon dropped on the entire world. Ripple effects were felt worldwide. Nervo CKB is the most interoperable, future-proof, adaptable layer one proof-of-work blockchain out there. And yes, because one CKB equals one byte of on-chain state rent, it's arguably a commodity. So, it's a great video. It's at the end screen. So, after you get done watching this, hop on over to that if you're looking to learn. Uh, it's a great night to learn, right? A uh, little housekeeping here. Nervos is thrilled to participate in the Blockchain Fest in Singapore on the 16th and 17th of February. We look forward to connecting with other players in the industry. So if you're in that region of the world, look them up and uh, hook up with them. Uh, this was an absolute awesome hashing it out. Absolute awesome hashing it out that happened 
yesterday. And it was with Jordan Mack and Mick Blackwell, the founder of Blitz TCG. Now, Mick is really kind of creating this NFT card game. And he's planning on, from what I understand, releasing this thing across many different blockchains. And for some reason, he was drawn to Nervos Network. And I'm not going to spoil the reason. You have to watch the video, which I will post at the end screen. And that will be your other option to check that out if you're looking to learn more about nervos network things like that i want you guys to go on over to at nervos nation they've got a kick butt twitter handle and they've got a kick butt telegram group so if you're interested in kind of mingling with the community behind the scenes off twitter maybe you've got some technical questions this is where all the techies are hanging out for the most part they're on Twitter too, but let's just take a quick peek at the market. We're going to look at the charts because things have just been kind of, uh, you know, sideways, things like that. Let's look at the top 200. I'm happy to announce, I'm happy to announce, folks, that CKB has really been climbing up in the ranks. This thing was sitting at about like, what, 270, 265 rank? I mean, just a couple of weeks ago, and now we're a 199 coin. We're a top 200 coin again. That shows you something there. Uh, really, we're still up 17% on the month, 4% on the day. Let's dive right into CKB, and we're going to just start this thing off on the daily. Because really, ever since we had this massive pump and climbed above this 200, I feel like an absolute broken record doing these videos really since like Tuesday, January 25th, somewhere in there. And my prediction was that we were going to flag out and really interact with this 50 moving average and the shoulder of this Ichimoku cloud on the daily. I didn't know if we were going to symmetrical triangle squeeze it or if we were just going to pull some sort of flag maneuver. But right now, folks, I, and I'm saying this in every video, we've got this Elliott Wave Theory to the upside. And you can almost see this little retracement A, B, C, D, E, you know, sideways squeeze that happen. Now, I want to just check out Nervos Network CKB on the weekly chart, folks, because it's important to kind of know uh, where we're going with this thing. And really, when it comes down to it in the previous videos, folks, I've been talking about this thin portion of this Ichimoku cloud. And really, I've been kind of talking about this 50 moving average and how I think that this bull flagpole, and we've kind of got a nice pennant forming, might come on up and test this 50 moving average another time. We did it back here on January the 23rd. I think, I'm hoping, we see it again. I want at least another shot at that 50. And then I want to see CKB climb above that 50 and maybe pull a maneuver like this and get itself above the Ichimoku cloud on the weekly chart. Because what happens? Well, we can see that once price cleared this Ichimoku cloud, it went gangbusters went off the hook my gosh let's look at the four hour chart here of course we got scribble marks all over the place that we need to get rid of quick so let's dial this in real quick this is super alpha right now so right now you know what we've got this flag that has formed it just is what it is there's no ifs, ands, or about, you know, ifs, ands, or anything like that. It is what it is. Uh, so where do we think that price is going to go to from here? Well, I'm thinking, like I said, in that weekly chart, I want to see these prices target that 50 moving average. But I did caution everybody about a week ago, or maybe in the last video I did, on the possibility of a death cross here on the four-hour chart. I do remember that. So a death cross is nothing really to be concerned about on small time frames like the four-hour chart. But, you know, we can see that if price doesn't scoot up quickly, 
uh, this 50 moving average is going to cross the 200 and we might see a little bit of a collapse in price. And I'm just going to show you guys what a death cross might look like. Um, you know, here's a death cross on the four hour chart. Things went significantly bearish. Uh, let's just look at another one. Here's another one right here. I mean, things went significantly bearish afterwards. So this is the four hour chart. I'm not as concerned about a death cross or a golden cross uh, on these time frames versus like a weekly or a daily. Uh, so where do we think price could possibly go? Well, if we get this bounce, um, like I'm hoping we do off that 50, I'm hoping we come back up to right around this half cent level. I would love to see that. And I would love to see maybe a little bit of a retracement. Here's why. Because we might be able to form some sort of cup and handle or something of that nature. I just want to check for something right now. I, I want to make sure that we are not seeing some sort of harmonic dam. Okay, so we could be seeing some sort of harmonic pattern um, playing out. And I'm going to give you guys, you know, I, I always try to give you guys two things. Uh, if things get nasty and if things get good, the bullish and the bearish, you know, sauce, we'll call it. Uh, right here, what I'm seeing is the potential setup. And, and this is what I'm always trying to do, folks. Forward think your charts. Anything you do in life. Forward thinks what you know. What's going to happen here? What are the consequences? What are the consequences after that? Things like things like that. Uh, but right now, there could be this harmonic pattern, and the way this thing is setting up, uh, this is a little concerning to me. Um, the the fact that uh, we have. Uh, what's known as a bullish Gartley or maybe a bullish butterfly that is formed. Uh, what I would look for when I'm looking for this pattern is for uh, price to come up, hit find A, find A, wherever A is. And when price retraces from A, I'm always looking to see if it wicks the 61.8 or if it comes down in between the 61.8 and the 7.86. But it can't go lower than the 786 or this pattern is quashed. Now, when we start looking at this at a super high level, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw up this Fibonacci extension from A to X. Oh, man. And, you know, what I'm looking for is at least for price to come up. Bear with me and hit the 61.8, which it did wick up and hit the 61.8. And it can go all the way up to this uh, level of A, wherever A is, uh, it cannot go higher. So right now, really CKB is on my radar. If we fail, you know, we've already wicked the 61.8. So really, um, I'd like to see a little bit of a pump to get above that 61.8 just so we can get some better guidance on whether or not this might be a stronger prediction. But when it comes down to it, I'm looking for price to hit around this 127 level. And we'll throw up the final analysis on this harmonic by measuring point A to point B. And we're looking for this 127 level here, which is about where I put this uh, this end here. I'm hoping this does not play out, uh, but be prepared. If things get nasty, 0 0.002788 is the target uh, I may or may not be looking for. Things get really bad, the 161.8 at 0 0.0021 cents. Uh, so that is the bearish uh, outcome if we do not really get this bounce off this 50 moving average, in my opinion, if we lose this 200 moving average on the daily, uh, that will be my main guess uh, at where we could end up. So I'm hoping we don't see price kind of crash through. Uh, I'm, you know, things are looking good. I mean, we got all the things like we could ask for the bull pennant, bull flags. I mean, you know, sideways trading, the market is kind of stabilizing. Uh, we'll have to keep really close tabs on this, folks. Again, check out these end screens here if you're interested in some of these videos, learning more about Nervos Network, or if you want to check out the spaces that went down with Jordan and uh, Mick, uh, they were fire. So we'll see you guys all in the next video.